5 Scary Krampus Facts to Know Before Christmas You've probably heard of Krampus, the demon who contrasts with the beloved St. Nicholas. While St. Nicholas, better known as Santa Claus, is known for giving gifts to children, Krampus is known for punishing the kids who would typically end up on Santa's naughty list. In this video, we're going to go over 5 cool facts about Krampus that you might not have known about. Before we start, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Let's get started. Number 1. The Krampus Knot Krampus is not only well known, but is celebrated in parts of Europe in December. The Feast of St. Nicholas, which takes place on December 6th, is a less celebrated holiday in the United States. However, the night before the Feast of St. Nicholas is the night some European countries celebrate Krampus, the Krampus Knot. This festival often includes plays, people dressing up as Krampus, and usually offering Krampus schnapps, which is a kind of fruity brandy. People also give gift cards featuring Krampus relatively frequently. Number 2. Relation to Santa While many North American depictions of Krampus have him stealing children, coming in the place of Santa for the more misbehaved children, and even dragging children to the depths of hell, his origins actually point to him working alongside Santa Claus. He's not Santa's nemesis, they're co-workers. Santa rewards good children with gifts, while Krampus takes care of all the bad children for Santa so he doesn't have to bother. This doesn't really paint Santa in a good light though, which is why more modern depictions of Krampus show him in direct contrast with Santa Claus. 3. Krampus People While Krampus is a demon who beats and tortures children, at least he doesn't have people going around brutalizing others, right? Wrong. Many people who dress up as Krampus during Krampus Knot will actively hit tourists and pedestrians with sticks and brandish torches at them. These whippings, while brutal to some, are part of the thrill of Krampus Knot. Plus, Krampuses only aim for the legs, never the torso or the head. While visiting a town celebrating Krampus Knot, be sure to bring some padding, otherwise you may walk away from that celebration a little worse for wear than you were before. While Krampuses do actively intend to hurt you, you'll certainly be able to walk away from Krampus Knot. Being hurt is part of the celebration, and maybe you can take home a fun story of how you were tortured on your winter visit to the Alps. 4. Appearance Many different depictions of Krampus exist. This makes sense. In reality, there is more than one Krampus. However, most depictions show Krampus as a furry beast with great big horns and a long tongue. Perhaps his most defining feature though is his one cloven hoof and one human foot. Krampus costumes can have different colors of fur, ranging from white to brown to black, and many of them feature different styles of horns. Often, LED lights will be used for the eyes and the masks of the costumes to add a little extra fear factor. Many Krampus costumes also feature long tongues typically made of felt, although this is more common with older Krampus costumes. Krampus gives people an opportunity to have something between a second Halloween and a second Mardi Gras, and a heavy metal concert. Most Krampuses go in pretty intensely with their costumes, however, there are also plenty of people in St. Nicholas costumes around during Krampus Knot. These do not look like Americanized versions of Santa Claus, rather featuring the vestments of a Catholic priest and a golden scepter. They do usually have Santa's white beard though. 5. Variations Krampus is a creature of folklore and as such has several different interpretations. While most are fearsome, some are more akin to clowns and are seen as tricksters. This version of Krampus is more popular in Salzburg and is more tourist friendly than some other versions. In Croatia, Krampus is covered in chains and steals the gifts St. Nicholas leaves for the well-behaved children. In Styria, Krampus hands out bundles of sticks to households which are painted gold and displayed year-round, an ever-present reminder to children to remain good. While these versions of Krampus may differ, the core of his existence remains the same, punish bad children. Thanks for watching the video so far, we hope you've enjoyed hearing about Krampus, and we've got one more fun fact coming up just for you. Leave a like if you liked the video, and subscribe for more content coming up soon. Bonus, Krampus Ban Between 1934 and 1983, Austria was under fascist rule. At the time, Krampus was seen as a symbol of anti-Christian ideals, sin, and more. The government at the time banned Krampus after a newspaper called for a boycott. This meant that nobody could celebrate Krampus Knot. People dressed as St. Nicholas must have a license to do so and Krampuses were to be arrested on site. Pamphlets warned parents that celebrating Krampus could scar their children for life. Fortunately though, this only lasted for a short while, 
and Krampus knots are still being celebrated all over Europe and even in a few places in North America. Thanks for watching our video. Looking for more? Check out this playlist. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss more videos by us. We've got two more spooky videos like this one coming up soon. Why not leave a comment down below about which Krampus fact was the most interesting to you? Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Take care!